Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome to a part 1 of 25th anniversary videos. In case you haven't seen our previous video, we decided to make a series where we open 25th anniversary legendary collection boxes and then we build deck around those cards and then we duel with them. So after first video we actually loved it so much and based on the views and likes seems like you guys liked it as well. So we decided to make it into a series where we will keep opening new boxes and duel with those cards. And we also decided to make things more spicy, so we added Mando into the series, so you will see a lot more 25th anniversary openings and duels, and a lot more diverse cards. Today's duel will be the rematch between Sector and SJ, since last one didn't end up quite well for me. And with that being said, if you guys like this series, make sure to like the video and make sure to subscribe to keep in touch with this epic content and to support us. Without any further ado, let's just start with the duel. Alright. Let the rematch between the Sector and SJ begin with a little bit improved deck. Dex. Six. Four. Okay, I'll go first. Draw for turn. I will set one monster face down. And activate yellow luster shield. Increase the defense of all monsters on my side of the field by 300 points. Okay. Then I'm going to set one card face down and end my turn. Draw for turn. I'm going to normal summon my guardian of the throne room. And I'll proceed to battle phase and attack your face down. You attack my giant soldier of stone with 2300. Yay. You lose 650. 650. Okay. I'll pass. Draw. I will normal summon Grenadora. I gain 1000 life points. But when it's destroyed, I lose 2000. See. I will set another card face down and proceed to battle. Attack your guardian with Grenadora. Okay. I lose 250 now. I end my turn. Drop for turn. I will now activate Light Force uh, Sword. Light Force Sword. I will banish one random card from your hand face down and during your uh, fourth standby phase after this card's activation you will return it to the hand i will banish this one i will set one card and end my turn draw i will activate type zero magic crusher i will discard one spell card and inflict 500 points of damage okay then I will normal summon my Berserk Gorilla hmm. in attack position and I will proceed to battle. Attack your face down with Grenadora. Okay, my Witty Phantom is done. Then I will attack you directly for 2000 with Gorilla. Okay, I end my turn. Draw for turn. We go to the second standby phase. I will just set another card and pass my turn. Draw. I will normal summon my Girochin Kuwagata in attack position. And I will proceed to battle phase. Attack your face down with Grenadora. Then I will attack you directly for 3700. That really hurts. I pass. Draw again. Third standby phase for this card. I will activate drag down into the grave, we both reveal each other hands and we pick one card to discard to the graveyard and then we draw one card. So here's my hand. Mm. Discard. Okay. And you yeah. pick. <laughs> okay, we draw one. Draw one. Okay. I will set another card and pass my turn. Okay. Draw. I will set one monster face down and attack your face down monster with Gorilla. Kill my pale beast. And I'm going to finish you off with Grenadora. And I'm finished. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. You were insanely lucky because you picked my Chaos Sorcerer. <laughs> I had light, dark, dark. What a chance. <laughs> so I could summon Holy him easily. Shit. And yeah, I lost so badly. Well, rematch isn't going that well, but let's just go to the second match. 
Okay, second game. Let's roll the dice. Four, three. Yay, I lost again. I'll go first. You guys wouldn't believe in the past week I lost a million dice rolls. I am going to drop a turn. I will set one monster face down and set one card face down. I pass. Draw for turn. This time I will normal summon my ancient elf. And I will equip her sword of the deep seated that gives her 500 attack and defense. Oh. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, I place it on the top of my deck. I will activate Solemn Wishes. Each time I draw a card, I gain 500 life points. Okay. I'll attack your face down. Alright, you attack my soul tiger. And he's Yay. a 2100. Another defensive animal. Yep. I'll end my turn. Okay. Draw. See some draw a card, I gain 500 life points. Yep, true. I will just end my turn. Draw for turn. We'll set one card, another, and unfortunately I'll pass. Okay, draw. I gain another 500. Then I'm going to set one monster face down, and then my turn. I will draw for turn. I will set another card face down, and I'll proceed to battle phase attack your face down. You attack my Kelbeck. So, I will return your monster to your hand. Okay, and sword goes to the top of the deck. I'll end my turn. Draw! I will summon Granadora. And since I draw a card, I gain another 500. And I gain 1000 for summoning Granadora. That's a lot of light points. Yep. Then, I will proceed to battle. Attack this one. You attacked my Ojama Yellow. So he's destroyed. Okay, I end my turn. Draw for turn. I will set one card and I'll end my turn. Draw. I gain 500. Yay. This is very interesting. Then I'm going to summon Zolga in attack position. What? No Burst or Gorilla? Not yet. Then I'm going to enter the battle. Attack this one with Grenadora. You destroyed my giant rat. Oh. It lets me special summon from the deck one earth warrior monster with 1500 or less attack. So I choose the Kelbeck. And I will attack Kelbeck with my Zolga. Okay, return her to the hand. You lose 200. I do. I end my turn. Draw for turn. Okay. I kinda, kinda draw the out, I will normal summon Bulganian, I will equip him 7 completed, which oh. equips only the machine type monster, and I choose whether to increase his attack or defense, and of course I choose attack, it's increased for 700, then I also equip him sword of the deep seated for 500 more, so he's a 25, mm -hmm. I will attack your Grenadora, so you lose 6 plus 2000, for his effect. So 26. 26. Yeah. I'll end my turn. Draw. Again 500. Then I'm going to normal summon Guardian of the Throne Room. And I'm gonna activate Limiter Removal. It doubles the attack of all my machine monsters, but they get destroyed at, uh, at the end phase. No way. So Guardian is at... Uh, 3300 and I will attack your Bulganian. Well, Sedge, I lose 700, no, 8, no, I'm at 25, yeah, 800 and sword goes to the top of my deck. Okay, then I'm going to activate Soul Release to banish 5 cards from your graveyard. Sure, go ahead. Okay. So, all of them. Okay. Then I will just set one card face down, and in the end phase, my guardian is destroyed. I end my turn. I'll draw for turn. I'll just pass. Okay. Draw. I will activate Upstart Goblin. 
I draw one card, then you gain 1,000 life points. Thank you. You're welcome. But since I draw a card, I gain 500. And plus 500 for a standby phase. For your regular draw. For my regular draw, yeah. So I will now summon Zolga again in attack position and proceed to battle. Attack your face down monster. Well, suck it. Ah, no. You lose 400. I lose 400 and I end my turn. I'll draw for turn. First, I will activate my final flame to inflict 600 points of damage. Okay. Then, I will normal summon my ancient elf and equip her Sword of the Deep Seated. I will activate my trap card, Fairy Scan Mirror. Which says, when your opponent activates a spell card that targets exactly one monster and no other cards on the field, target another card, card that would be an appropriate target, that spell now targets the new target. So I will target my Zolga. So you just equipped my monster. Quite interesting. I'll end my turn. Draw. I will gain 500 life points for a draw. Then I will tribute my Soul Tiger to tribute summon Twin Headed Fire Dragon. <laughs> I will enter the battle phase, attack your Tiger with my Dragon, and attack okay. your Elf with Zolga. 750. 750. Okay. And I will end my turn. I'll draw for turn. I will set two cards face down and end my turn. Draw. I will set one monster face down, gain 500 life points and I will enter the battle phase, attack your face down with Twin Headed Dragon. Destroyed my chick the yellow. Attack you directly with Zolga for 2200. Sharting. Sure end my turn. Draw for turn, I'll set another card face down and end my turn. Draw. I gain 500 life points. Then I'm going to normal summon my Dark Elf. It has 2,000 attack points, but I need to pay uh, 1,000 life points in order to attack. Damn. I will proceed to battle, attack your face down with Twin-Headed Dragon. You destroyed my Island Turtle. Attack you directly with Zolga for 22. Then I will pay 1,000 life points to attack you directly with Dark Elf. Okay, 2k more. I end my turn. And last draw. Can I get the Chaos? I'll set one card face down and then my draw. I will now normal summon my blindly loyal goblin. And I, will, I will enter the battle phase. Attack your face down monster with dragon. Yeah, my little wingard is oh, destroyed. So you're done. Finish you off with Zolga. And I lost. Okay, well, you had so power from monsters. Yeah, yeah, so powerful hands. And unfortunately, I kind of decided to focus everything on my chaos, but yeah. yeah, I don't see I don't see what better could I put in this deck. So yeah, I lost this very badly. I only wish I could have summoned Zo uh, Zork, but no rituals. Yeah, even though I'm very happy with my deck and the pools I got, I guess that didn't help me in a duel. So I lost even worse than the previous one. Did I lose the part one? Mm, I'm not sure, actually. I think I did two to one, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah. Well, I guess that will do for this video. We have two more parts of this 25th anniversary duels coming up, where the Mando is coming in with his two boxes, so he will be battling me and RJ as well. If you guys haven't checked the previous part and the previous unboxing, make sure to check that, you will have links down in the description. So yeah, thank you all for watching and see you in the next one.